Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the return of the Lego Republic. Now, it has been quite some time, like quite a lot of time actually, since I have posted anything. But uh, let me assure you that we are going to be going back to like crazy awesomeness starting right now. So this is the first video. This is coming out. So today's video I wanted to make really awesome. Um, I know it's the summer, we got leaks coming out, all this good stuff for Star Wars, we got good Lego sets, I'm so pumped, but here's the thing guys, what we have here is quite a lot of great Lego sets, um, I'm pretty sure Lego's gonna reveal the others pretty soon here, so I'm actually gonna do a bunch of separate videos taking in-depth th thoughts and looks, I'm gonna do a really good video I think in my opinion to start out the day here, or start out the, the summer Lego Republic era. Um, and it's going to be the Mandalorian Starfighter. We're going to take a deep dive look in here, but I want to show my face right now for the first video for a while. I probably won't do this on every one of these, but it's been a while. I want to get back. I want to get some face-to-face -face recognition. This channel's like a stock. I leave it alone and it still goes up about the same amount that I do when I'm actually posting things. Just kidding. Um, I still posting things. Um, I was really busy, but hey, we're back and, um, really excited and motivated to start on all of this. So let's take a great in-depth uh, look at all of this stuff here. It's going to be great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking this from Lego.com itself, which was nice enough to provide us with these high-quality, high-definition images here. So a uh, great job to them um, for, you know, promoting their own products, I guess. Um, but I'm really glad that they're promoting this one. I think this set... Um, is probably going to be one of the best sets that sells. I don't think the Slave one is going to sell very well. Um, I mean, I'm going to buy it because I don't have a Slave one, but I know other people did buy it uh, for the Slave one. Um, I think this is going to outsell the Slave one because it has all of the people that love Bo-Katan from Mando, as well as all of the people who have been diehard Clone Wars fans and have known who Bo-Katan was. Uh, I feel like like someone like someone's grandma's gonna be like, "Who is Bo-Katan?" You're like, Aah! or like all these people that are like, "Oh my gosh, I love Bo-Katan so much," and you're like, "Oh yeah, wasn't she awesome in the Clone Wars?" And they're like, "What's the Clone Wars?" Guys, come on. Oh, but yeah, you know, if you're a diehard Clone Wars fan and you've been with um, you know, Bo-Katan ever since season four, was it like? three or two. I'm not sure on the exact dates, but uh, whenever she first came on in the Clone Wars, I know season five was when they had that grand finale with Bo-Katan. It was so good, uh, although it wasn't really um, about Bo-Katan too much. And then, of course, season seven, that was the the real finale. That was great. But yeah, enough about um, Bo-Katan herself, although this is the Mandalorian Starfighter. It kind of is like Bo-Katan's Mandalorian Starfighter. And it is based off of Season 7. That much is made clear by the minifigures. Let's take a look here. We've got... Ver ooh, ooh, hello. Okay, me pretending that I haven't seen these pictures before is kind of funny. Um, guys, I've seen these pictures before. This this looks really good. Um, I really, I really, honestly, like, they're so good. All three of these pictures, or all three of these minifigures are so good. It's it's kind of insane. Let's see. Uh, we'll start with Bo-Katan in the middle here. She's got that fancy rangefinder, which looks amazing. Um, that's a joke, guys. That, that's a joke. The rangefinder is the same rangefinder that you find all over the place. I, I will say it does add to her figure a little bit, but the real the real awesomeness here is the uh, the the helmet. The helmet looks gorgeous with that printing there. Um, her torso looks a, a, a lot like uh, Jango Fett's torso from 2013, actually, just with like blue hands. Which is that accurate? I feel like Bo-Katan would wear like gray gloves or something, not not like light blue or you know, really bright blue. It looks like they're going for more of a bright blue look here, especially with that other Death Watch Mandalorian, but we'll, we'll get to him in a minute. So we've got very nice toe printing, leg printing. Lego seems to be going full on out with giving everyone leg and toe printing these days, which is really nice to see. They're even giving clone troopers leg and toe printing. And so pretty much now, unless it's that original 2000, uh, or that original Clone Wars clone, the white one without the leg printing, Every other clone looks like it needs leg printing, except for that one. That one's amazing. But yeah, uh, we got great Bo-Katan minifigure here. 
I really like everything about her, except I think those hands are a little weird. And we'll do, we will see in a few other pictures. Um, actually, we'll go to that right now. Actually, we'll look at this one. Her, she does have, come with a hairpiece, and she's got a, a face under there, which is expected. Like, if they didn't put a custom face in there for her, I would be really ticked off. Um... But yeah, that's that's a standard thing Lego's going to put in her face. But yeah, that's really nice to see. I don't appreciate the pistols. What are they doing? Okay, so first off, Mandalorian pistols. They've been these little these little tiny ones like they had on that Jango Fett minifigure. The, the little gray ones that don't look like pistols and don't look like guns and don't look like they should be in Lego Star Wars at all. But they are, and they're kind of iconic to Mandalorians at this point. <laughs> along with the others, what they've given them, all these Mandalorians, they've given them these Sabine pistols, and I don't understand why. Like, like, what? These things are bigger than normal, whereas, like, the Mandalorian guns are supposed to be smaller than normal. I don't, why? You, you could have given them regular pistols and they would have looked better. Like, honestly, these are not the guns of a Mandalorian. Like, maybe a few, but really, two? They're making these things look like pistols, and they look like they weigh about 100 pounds each. What is going on here? And also, Gar Saxon, they need to give him some sort of extension on that pistol because he definitely does not have a pistol. I mean, maybe he does, but I seem to remember him when he uh, is... Spoiler alert, turn this off if you haven't seen Clone Wars Season 7, but I'm guessing most of you have. When he totally uh, goes in there and uh, destroys Almec, um, you know, in the heart with the, with a blaster. Um... But he has that long rifle, and so I think that would have been a better gun to give him. Okay, so going on to Gar Saxon now. Um, his torso looks more like a ruby than armor, but hey, you know what? It's it's Gar Saxon. What can you say? I really like the horns that they did on their helmet uh, for Gar Saxon. I think they could have been a little bit taller, a little ticked off that they're not taller. Also, guys, it, it's really sad that th there's no holes on the side of Gar Saxon's helmet. Not that you would want to put anything on there, but, uh, you know, kids would have the option if they wanted to, to be able to put, like, a rangefinder on there or something, and they just can't with Gar Saxon because he, he just doesn't, that new helmet will just does not have that, um, does not have the holes for any sort of accessories whatsoever. So that's kind of sad. Also, I said the gun wasn't very good. The torso is okay. Um, I feel like the face print could have been a little better. They could have uh, made it a little more pointy. I feel like in the in the Clone Wars, his uh, the yellow that's going across the horizontal yellow of his visor is not actually in a straight line. It's kind of in like a boomerang kind of, uh, just slightly with the middle slightly pressed down. But I guess it's a Lego figure, so they can't really do that. But the, I feel like it's a little more pointy. But um, who knows? I like the toe printing, I like the leg printing, and the hip printing too. I guess I forgot to mention that too. Uh, on all of these figures looks uh, uh, great. And of course the jetpack. Um, it just looks like they're doing standard jetpacks, which is a little unfortunate. But um, hey, that's cool. I would have liked to see Gar Saxon with a little bigger jetpack. But hey, you know what? It's all good. Um, typical Lego to skimp out on this. I know I'm spending a lot of time on the figures here. We'll go over... Um, the Mandalorian Loyalist here. <clears throat> I'm a fan of the Mandalorian Loyalist. This is the most underrated figure in 20 years. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but guys, you don't come here just for the the, the views. If you wanted to come here to actually see these pictures, you would go to MNR's channel. You come here because I'm hilarious, okay? I, I try my best, okay? Um, I, I'm not really hilarious, but you know what would be really funny is if I started laughing at my own terrible jokes. Okay, so we got the Mandalorian Loyalist here. He, he's looking really good. I, I, he looks a lot different than the old Death Watch Mandalorian Trooper. And I have a good friend named Jackson who actually has the old Mandalorian Starfighter. I'm going to see if I can actually try and like um, go over to his house and do some sort of a review of that and a comparison to this set. Because that would be really cool um, to just compare the troopers. Not only the troopers, but also the, uh, the, the, the ship itself. But yeah, this guy also has two pistols. I really hate the pistols. I already mentioned that. His helmet is really cool. It's got that new design. I would love to have both of them in hand to take a look at it. The jetpack, they're looking like they're using the darker color jetpacks as opposed to uh, the previous, like, more gray ones, and they probably weren't shiny either. Um, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of this Mando's torso as well as his legs. I think it looks really good. Um, I feel like... Uh, they did a really solid job with this figure, and I'm really excited for this figure. I'm Naturally, I'm excited for all of these figures, guys, but, but this one in particular because 
uh, it's just so underrated, and I feel like it doesn't get enough love from everyone else. Okay, on to the other things. So it is lego.com, so we're just going to go through the images. We got this uh, flying picture that's literally the same one from the box art. Notice that they did not include Gar Saxon on here. The, a lot of sets um, ha include literally everything in the set on the box art, so this one is one of those few exceptions. But they're getting more and more common these days. Okay, we got another picture of the... Uh, the feature, one of the features, which is it can lift up here. Of course, fake smoke coming out of the jetpacks. At least it's not as much fake stuff as they put on the Harry Potter box, box arts, but hey, you know. Alright, it looks like you've got spring-loaded shooters on the wings, which is unfortunate, but spring-loaded shooters, if uh, covered correctly, are not my worst enemy. I hate stud shooters a lot more. Oh, look, there's stud shooters. <sighs> okay, there's stud shooters. Um... Alright, well, I'll probably take them off, but I, I guess they are kind of cleanly put in there, I guess. I don't know. And then, of course, we got a little battle. Not much else taking place here, although we do see that they did use anti-studs, which is all of the, the backs of studs. But honestly, I wouldn't know how you would make something like this and not include anti-studs, so I'm not too mad about that at all. This next pick shows off a lot of other features, and it also kind of gives the Starfighter a little weird look here. So we've got the uh, the fold-up of the wings, where the wings, they're horizontal with the cockpit, but then they go vertical so that it can land. Um, and I assume there's going to be some sort of landing gear on the bottom of the, uh, of the ship, probably beneath the cockpit, or probably a little in front of that beneath there. Um, it should land like that. Um... And then, of course, the middle can spin, which is really nice looking, and the cockpit can open up clearly, um, which looks great. Uh, I think this set looks great. Let's take a look at the next one, which is the picture that we looked at earlier. And this is a really nice image because you get to see that there's actually two people in the cockpit, although we might have been able to see it on the box art had you looked close enough. Uh, but this is really nice. Not only do you get the uh, the picture of Book 10 without her helmet on, that hairpiece, though, is not a very good one. I forgot to mention that earlier. That is terrible hairpiece, actually, now that I think about it. But, hey, whatever. It's a hairpiece. It's not like anyone's going to use that hairpiece, but, you know, whatever. Um, and you got that amazing Mandalorian loyalist back there. It's cool if this can seat two. I think it's good that it seats two, actually, because if it... Um, I think that that just makes a lot more sense. They kind of can carry people. They're kind of like mini gunships in universe because uh, they have that rack. If you've watched Rebels, you've seen that that rack that they have, and they deploy it with it's just like like super battle droid rack, and it's just full of bandos, and then they jump off their, with their jetpacks and go destroy uh, empire ships. Um, yeah, that's that was that was good times. Um, but yeah, it's really cool that I I don't know. I'm just really happy that it's able to seat two for some random reason. I can't tell you why. It's not even a cool thing. But hey, you know, I'm excited about it. Really? Stud shooters? Like, like people don't know what stud shooters are by now? Oh, goodness. Wait, hold up. Was that? Oh, is that a sticker? I'm pretty sure that's a sticker. Perfect. Oh, a perfect place sticker? Yeah, right. As if people can perfectly play stickers. That's unfortunate, guys. We got stickers on the cockpit. Darn, I'd hope that had been printed. All right, got the back of the box art. Um, beautiful box art. Like, can we can we talk about this box art? Like, woo! I mean, that is that is really good. Uh, the Mandalore in the back just looks stunning. The side box art looks great, and the uh, the front box art, of course, looks good. But this this back box art is what's really getting me here because it's just a perfect representation of Mandalore. Um, and, uh, like, the landing pad that this ship would be on. So, yeah, perfect box art. This is, this has me sold. I'm telling you, this set is gonna sell, like, crazy. Um, like, everyone's getting this set. And with it, uh, it's, like, literally just destroyed. So, you know what, whatever. Then we have a really cool video with the super cute Asian kid who looks like he's having a ton of fun, and he should, with this Lego set. Um, darn, I'm kinda jealous. Can I be in a Lego ad sometime and get, like, I assume he's getting that free Lego, right? And, I mean, wow, that's a, seriously, I want to, like, Lego, I'm an actor now, please, let me be in your, like, ads. And then we've got a few more pictures, this time it is actually set up, so thank goodness, um, I'm not going to show those, though, because I don't really care that much. We've got a nice video here, I'm not going to show it, but it basically is just showing all the pictures that I just saw, so not really anything fancy there. 
I don't know what the point of that was. I missed the old product animations. Do you guys remember what I'm talking about? If you don't, look up YouTube. Go on YouTube, look up Lego, look up a set you want from like to 2013, 2012. Look up product animation um, after the name of the set and you'll it'll pop up. Oh, those were the best, man. They they actually hyped people up for sets. And then, of course, they got the 360. So, yeah. Uh, pretty good stuff, guys. This set looks amazing. Um, the box art is gorgeous. Everything looks gorgeous. I kind of forgot the, the first image here, so I'll throw it up on the screen. Um, you look like uh, you're getting three rangefinders, and for some reason, you're also getting visors. I don't know why. Only two of them can use... Hey, you know what? Whatever. I honestly really don't like the visors unless it's on Commander Cody because the visors just are like bulky and hardly don't work half the time. They do work really well in Mandalorian helmets though. And I'm not entirely sure if Bo-Katan's helmet is a slight redesign or not, but it very well might be. It's looking slightly different than the uh, other Mando's helmet in this image. So, yeah, pretty good. Oh, it looks like the, the most important part, you're getting that, that orange... Uh, brick breaker thing on the left there. So yeah, thank goodness. I was worried we wouldn't get one of those. Um, and also while I'm here, I'm gonna comment on the fact that uh, the color scheme of this is uh, quite blue. I'm sure I'll learn to love it, but I kind of miss the old white and blue one. But I'm sure that I kind of like the dark blue. Actually, it's looking pretty nice. Not sure about the uh, like that sh those long stripes of blue. Uh, like the regular blue, but hey, I'm sure I'm going to love it. This set's going to sell like crazy. Um, everyone's going to love it. I know you guys love it. If you don't love it, comment. Tell me you don't love it. If you do love it, comment. Tell me you love it. And then, um, you know, we're going to have a battle here. We're going to have a battle on who loves it more. And guys, I'm telling you, if you don't love it, you got to throw that aside. Love it. Comment. Say you love it. Because you're going to be vastly outnumbered. This set is so good. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this, and I'll Yep, that that's all I have to say, guys. Uh, tomorrow, we'll probably do the Bad Batch, um, have the Bad Batch video come out, and then also the Throne on Mandalore. Maybe I'll switch those two up. I'm not sure. By that point, I'm sure LEGO will have released all of the other LEGO sets, so, um, or, like, full HD images of them. If not, I probably won't do a full in-depth look because I will only have one picture to go off of. And it is kind of an official Lego picture, but it's blurry, and there, it's just like I can't do a full rundown on that. I I think this is different. Usually I do full wave set things, but this is cool because I'm able to get a bunch of different videos and really focus on each one. So this is going to be great. Uh, cannot wait. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like, hit the subscribe, do all the things. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.